Are you tired of switching between environments just to run your machine learning models? Well, I have been there until I met Docker. Imagine you're running your machine learning models in any type of environment or in any operating system without changing a single line of code. That's exactly what Docker does for you. In this video, I will show you how to install Docker, give you a template code to start with and how to run the code. If the light lets me do it, right? Ah, good old light. Without further ado, let's start the video. We are going to follow Docker's tutorial for installing Docker desktop on Macs. You can find the tutorial link in the description down below. On top of the tutorial, you will see the download link for Intel or Apple Silicon Macs. Click on the Apple Silicon and while it's downloading, we can continue with the next items in the list, which is installing Rosetta 2. If you are not familiar with Rosetta, Rosetta is basically an emulator to run Intel-based applications on Apple Silicon. Docker is mostly compatible with the Apple Silicon right now, but there are some certain codes that is still on Intel, so we need Rosetta to run Docker's full feature set. So let's start installing Rosetta 2 with this simple command. Right right now, the DMG file for Docker desktop should be downloaded now. Double click on it and you will see this prompt. To install it, just drag the Docker desktop file into the applications folder and that's all there is. Now go to your applications and open up the Docker desktop. After typical next next next, you will see the main screen of the Docker desktop. On the bottom left, you will see this orange banner. It means that Docker is booting and you cannot run your containers just right now. Just wait a little bit and you will see this orange banner turns into the green banner and then you will be able to run your Docker containers. To use Docker, we need a file named Docker file and an optional file named Docker compose file. I already created these files and put them into a template and uploaded them to GitHub repository. So I will give it in the description below and you can download it and continue with me in this tutorial. In the Docker file, it's basically instructions to create your virtual machine. You first define the base virtual machine or base container that you are going to be copying with. In my template, it was Python 3.8 then you are going to be defining which libraries to install. In my template, those are NumPy, scikit-learn, pandas, or any other machine learning libraries you could imagine. Then when you build your Docker environment, these uh, libraries are comes together and generates a virtual machine or a Docker container by itself that you can use in any other uh, computer or development environment you want. Docker Compose file, on the other hand, includes the instructions to run your code. It's not about installing libraries, but rather about how you would like to run your code on this Docker container. In the template folder I shared, there is another fault called SRC. It's the folder you will copy all your Python projects or codes into. For example, I have my script inside this main.py file, and I want to run it inside the Docker container. Then I just copy this main.py file into this src directory and then I open the terminal and change directory to where the docker file and docker compose file is located to. Run docker build dot. It might take several minutes depending on which kind of container you choose or which kind of libraries you install. After all libraries installed, you run docker compose build and it's rather quick compared to docker build. After this, to run your Docker container, just write docker compose up and your code will be executed. If you want to change the name of the main script, just head over to docker compose file and change this line. If you want to use Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab, just again head over to docker compose file and change this line with this Jupyter Notebook and optional parameters. IP and port parameters are optional, you might not need them, but I put them in case uh, you are running another Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab in the default port, which is 8888. After these changes, save the file and do the same stuff, docker build dot, docker compose build, and docker compose up, then your server will be started. To access it, you will see the address that you can access it with. If you want to access your notebooks within your local network, just head over to your terminal and learn your IP address. Then just replace 127.0.0.1 IP address 
with your original IP address in your local network and you are going to be good to go to access it from anywhere in your local network. Now machine learning stuff like scikit-learn, pandas or any other library is kind of okay and we can um, develop our models and train them, deploy them with this Docker container so that's okay. But what about PyTorch or TensorFlow in Docker for Max? In May 2022, PyTorch announced that they are now supporting MPS on their platform. MPS is the GPU acceleration in M1 or M2 Max. However, MPS is only supported if you're using Mac OS X operating system. When we use Docker, the operating system turns into Linux, like it's a virtual machine. It's likely that MPS will never come to Docker for M1 or any M chip Apple product. So we are just stuck with CPUs uh, inside the Docker for deep learning stuff. If you are using smaller models for deep learning, it shall be all right to use uh, CPUs on Docker. However, if you are going to be training a larger model, I will suggest you to use Mac OS X, uh, like the original operating system inside the Mac, or use uh, Colab or Colab Pro, or just use uh, another server, probably a Linux or a Windows server to train your model. It will be much faster and then you could get the model file and deploy it in the Docker environment. And that's going to be the, I think the best use case um, of you can use deep learning in here. In the GitHub repository that I shared, I also shared the templates for PyTorch and TensorFlow. To run them, you, you just apply the same procedure, Docker build dot, Docker compose build and Docker compose up. You can either do this in Python scripts or notebooks. In, in both ways, it's gonna be the same. In a conclusion, utilizing Docker to run your machine learning algorithms on either M1 or M2 Max is a game changer. Especially with Apple Silicon, I had problems with installing compatible libraries before. With Docker, your development environment is isolated from your host environment. It allows you to make the most for your hardware. Hope you liked the video. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and like this video. In my previous video, I talked about top five data science skills in 2023. If you're interested, the card is going to be in here. All right, see you guys.